much hunt. Uh, one hunt, a uh, couple hunts that I, I didn't film because it was just all flat. Um, I didn't get one wheat. Uh, a couple pieces of junk costume jewelry. That was about it. So I asked my wife if I could go and she said yeah. So I'm going to go hit them up and see if I can find anything decent. So when I get there, uh, and I find anything good after I get done doing the yard, I will most certainly film it for you. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm not going to turn the camera off yet. i got to show you the Rose Victorian again. again. That's one spot that would be a dream for me to hunt, but I doubt very seriously what they would let me. It's all manicured and everything, but there it is. Love that house. Okay, well, I'll get Okay, guys, it's been a couple days since my video. Um, the earlier part of this video, uh, uh, I said I was going to my buddy's house, the old historic house that, uh, from last year that I got all those cool coins at. And I took the XLT out, but um, there's still like lots of interference, uh, lots of pipes in the ground, lots of uh, businesses close by that have alarm systems, and it was uh, might have been some underground power lines just really messing with it. So uh, I finished the yard. I tried to detect that that didn't work out so good. Um, but while I was there, she said uh, I was more than welcome to go underneath the house. And I told her if it started raining, would it be okay if I came back tomorrow, which it did. I barely got done with the yard and it started raining. So I switched uh, to the ACE for a few and then had to go home. Went back the following day and looked underneath the house and found this very cool old sigh. Um, and she said I could have it. It was underneath the house. It's got, um, I don't know if it'll show it or not. It's got some pretty cool square nails. Let's see right there. The best looking square nails that I've seen. But really cool, really old. Still got a little bit of an edge on it too. And I found a few other artifacts, so it kind of turned into a relic hunt. Um, I didn't mess with the settings on the XLT much. I just pulled out the Ace and I tried detecting a little bit under the house and didn't find much. Um, found a few few things. There's the, the handle parts. A wicked old, wicked old tool. Anyways, I'll show you guys the other relic finds. Okay, guys, these are the other finds. Pretty sure this is an old belt buckle. It's got the two things there and then one thing here. The little arm that went across is missing though. Found that underneath the house as well. Kind of cool. Old pair of scissors. I don't know how old those are. This wooden, obviously. It, it didn't ring up or anything. I just spotted it under there and thought it was cool. It's the old uh, clothesline clip there. I haven't seen one of those except for like on cartoons before, so that was neat. I took that and found this old screwdriver. It's got uh, wood on this side and wood, a little bit of wood left on this side. It's a flathead. I thought that was pretty neat. I've never seen a screwdriver that old and that interesting before, so I took that too. Uh, from the yard, um, two zinc ones. That was it, <laughs> coin wise. Um, this little costume, maybe necklace or something. And last year I found one of these buttons, and yesterday I found another one so and this one's in better shape it's still got the little the little uh, attachment thing on the back uh, that's about it those were my finds um did go on a couple other hunts and pretty much all i found is clad and i didn't film that so uh, this was my I guess my relic hunt at the old historic house and they're going to be moving soon so i kind of wanted to get over there and see if there was anything left before they moved <coughs> All right, guys, take care. Best of luck on your hunts. Happy hunting. Well, and as always, there's the phone. <laughs> take care.